evening, Terry and Randy, and uh, congratulations first on your long-term public service. And it's more than just for Terry, it's for Randy also, being a law enforcement administrator and a law enforcement officer in general. If you don't have the support of your wife and family, mentally you're not going to survive very long. I tried to find something appropriate to wear this evening, but the only thing that still fit me from my 30 plus years in law enforcement are this pistol which I started out with in 1963 and this hat when I was chief in Plano. None of the other uniforms fit anymore, so that's about all I got left of that long career. What I'd like to do tonight is just tell you a little bit about Terry's law enforcement career. Uh, Terry's a little younger than me, but he happens to be the same age as my younger sister, Annie who's in the audience tonight. And they started out in school together and went to the McKinney. And Terry and I have similar careers in a way. Uh, between graduating from high school and then going to college and eventually the Army, I was a dispatcher for the McKinney Police Department. When I got back out of the Army and went back to work as a patrolman, uh, and shortly after that, or a few years after that, Terry Box came to work as a dispatcher for Chief Otho Nitschlis in McKinney, who had ironically also been Chief of Police in Plano before McKinney. So Terry was a dispatcher and uh, we had a lot of good times together. We, the families uh, growing up in McKinney, we all knew one another. And that's a blessing in a lot of ways because you uh, are able to relate to people and in law enforcement you can get a lot done if you know the people you're dealing with. Terry was an excellent person at that. He uh, had a couple of things in McKinney, I specifically remember one of them, and you may see a picture of my Chow Border Collie police dog, or German Shepherd police dog. And Terry and Bullet had a great relationship. I don't know what got on between Terry and uh, Bullet, but sometimes I asked Terry how he and Bullet liked to get together at the evening when I walked the dog to the police department occasionally. The other incident, and Terry, as you know, is a real fan of vehicles and loves cars and old cars especially, but one of his assignments, even when he was a dispatcher in McKinney, was helping the chief design the markings for our patrol cars. So uh, Terry has a long history of making vehicles look good and taking pride in them. Not long after uh, Terry went to work in McKinney, Plano really started growing. Collin County was expanding rapidly and Plano police were recruiting officers actively off the police department in McKinney. And around 1971, uh, Terry went to work as a patrolman in Plano. Uh, one of the agreements back in those days between the two mayors of Plano and McKinney is that they wouldn't actively recruit from Plano the McKinney officers since we were losing so many and Plano was growing rapidly. So the mayors made an agreement that that wouldn't occur. Of course, most people got around that by leaving McKinney and maybe going to work for the Sheriff's Department, ironically, or some other place and then going to Plano. And Terry in Plano had a uh, start of a good career and the rapid growth down there allowed him to progress through the ranks fairly quickly. And lo and behold, in uh, 1975, uh, uh, some people encouraged me to look at Plano as a place to move to. I was a lieutenant in McKinney. And I went down there and of course by that time, or about that time, Terry had already been promoted to sergeant. And as I said, Plano was growing rapidly. We had a great police department. We had a police chief named Dwayne Kinsey that was really professionalizing the department with the rapid growth. So we had a lot of things to do. Terry was again very professional in what he did. The troops liked him. He uh, was a supervisor. And in the uh, early 80s, uh, politics in Collin County were really changing. Uh, uh, Terry and I both were probably raised as Democrats or we didn't know what a Republican was in Collin County in those days. But in the 80s, late 70s and early 80s, the transition started. And not long after that, uh, the Collin County Sheriff was elected as a Republican, Sheriff Joe Steenbergen. Uh, Joe had been Justice of the Peace in Plano. And of course, Terry knew him very well and had impressed Joe. And uh, Joe recruited him to become one of his lieutenants in the Sheriff's Department. So Terry went away from us. Uh, and then Unfortunately, uh, later on, uh, Joe was involved in a traffic accident and went through a lot of uh, physical problems and eventually passed away, and Terry got the sheriff's job through the commissioner's court. Other people will address that issue, but I do want to say that Terry uh, has really provided a service to Collin County, along with Rendy, in making professional law enforcement a quality thing for our citizens. Uh, he has managed the sheriff's department in a way that no one else in the state probably has. He set a lot of records and received a lot of honors, and most citizens in Collin County probably cannot appreciate 
what he's done for Collin County, not only in law enforcement in general, but with his charity participation and keeping and running an efficient sheriff's department. I wish him the best in his retirement, playing golf and taking care of his cars. Good luck.